Man, what's up, everybody? It's been a while, but uh, I've just been in a building stage, you know. This is me, Brian Lavender, and I got one of my awesome friends, Jeremy Anderson, a.k.a. Jay, with me today. Yes, sir. You know, it's kind of crazy. One of my first friends and one of the longest friends I've ever had. We've known each other since we were eight years old. Yeah, uh, first grade, I probably was seven. But seven, yeah, you know, but I'm 30 years old now, and he's 29. Y'all do the math. It's a long time. He's one of those major supporters that I have that that pushes me, and I really appreciate him because uh, he's never he's never changed. He's never flipped the script. He's never acted differently, no matter what was going on. I think what was it? How we we got in a fight first time we met, right? First time, man. That's how we got cool, man. You know, hey, <laughs> I feel on that uh, recess on that recess field. Y'all know how it was back in the day. Man. Yeah, yeah. We 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 threw punches and then we became best friends. Like that's. Real story. <laughs> that's that's yeah. awesome. Really? Played football together, grew up and played football together, watch each other grow. But yeah. um for y'all that don't know, excuse me, I don't go ahead. in the gym. Nah, go ahead. He got a nickname. I know a lot of y'all don't know. You see <laughs> laughing, man. Killer. I know y'all wouldn't think, cause you know, <laughs> hey, this this is a good guy, man, but killer man, I'm telling you, man. We was bull in the ring. We played football young, know, you know. He got in the in the middle and uh you know, he got bull. He ain't like it. He got back up and bulled the man, you know. And <laughs> after that day, you know, everybody was like, well, he a killer, a killer, a killer. You know, so, you know, we over here be calling that. It, that. it come from somewhere real, you know. Uh, he showed that emotion, you know. And uh, But real good guy, man, real good guy. That was, you know, a long time ago. That was on the football field. That's, so, no that's a real story. That <laughs> that's a real story. That he, So yeah. we, we grew up, you know, middle school, you know, high school. <laughs> So we got to high school and uh, actually, you know, middle school, my father passed away. My, my father passed away and um, <clears throat> Jeremy, Jeremy, he reached out to me. I remember, I remember we were, we were at the wake and you was like, bro, I had to come. You know, I remember seeing your dad, your mom, and you was there. You just, you looked at me, you was like, killer, you all right? And I was just like, nah, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I wasn't, but, but he was, he was there. Like he was there then, you know? And then a couple years later, when we got to high school, I remember your dad passed away, and and it was the roles just switched. I was like, man, you okay? You know, and we we taught, we grew in that aspect, you know. So man, just what changed? Because I know for me, when my dad passed away, my whole my whole mindset went on a whole nother level. Like, what changed for you? Mindset definitely, man. Uh, mindset changed, man. And, you know, um, I. I ain't know how to deal with it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, there's nothing you can prepare for. I mean, it's some, you know, me, I'm a, I try to, I try to think things through. Right. You know? So, yeah. it was just tough getting through that, man. Uh, yeah. Real tough, real tough times, man. Um, but most of all, what changed is just uh, how I approach things, how I approach life. That's, that's the key. It was, it was, but... And you know, it took me a while to get it together though, because my first approach was a rugged approach. <laughs> and, you know, I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't really have love for a lot of stuff. Yeah, and it, it still carry over a little bit, you know, to where now I just, you know, I'm kind of made me a little selfish, man. You know, a little, a little more selfish. You know, everybody grows a little selfish. <laughs> A little bit more, man, you know, because it's just like, you know, I'm missing something that I can't get back. Can't have, can't have back, you know, right. man. So it was just real tough, man. But, um, yeah, I took the real, real tough approach at first, man. And, um, you know, and, um, went through my ups and downs, bumps and struggles, you know. And I ain't going to say I figured it out, but, you know, I kind of, you know, I'm getting it, getting it together, man. Right. Still to this day, I'm still right. working, man. But, and now you have a son of your own. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. like, what what did you take from your dad that, that <laughs> you that you trans, transferred to your son or you're transferring currently to your son? Oh. Ooh, ooh. Jeremy has always been somebody that, that show love to the people that he care about, you know? Um, I've always received love from Jeremy. Like, what's one of the major things that you you took away from your college experience that that kind of like said, "Hey, I still want to stay friends with Brian," or it was like, "Hey," or you know, as somebody else, you was like, "Man, I'm done with him." Like, what was something that that changed your thinking process while in college um, to stay my friend and stay my one of my major supporters versus somebody else that you was like, "I'm gonna just cut ties with them." 
Um, well, you know, it wasn't never, you know, we ain't never fell out, man. You know, we never had a <laughs> yeah, bad moment. So true, it really wasn't, a, you know, it wasn't a reason to fall out or, you know, say I wouldn't be friends with him. You know, we might not talk every day, but it was always there, you know. Uh, we always had each other numbers. So, you know, if it was ever, you know, a yeah. need or want, you know, we all, we, you know, we hit each other up, not as regular, but yeah. we contacted each other. So, you know, uh, for me, man, it's never going to be a fall out thing, man, you know, he's my guy, man, you know, we've been doing this for a long time, right. man. Like I said, guys, he's one of my major supporters. He has every one of my books. All signed. Oh. <laughs> All sign, he has everyone. It made things full circle for me. You know, you know how you see those black excellent movies, and and you know they they've been friends since uh, high school or college, and they come back. You know, it was one of those moments for me. Like it was like, man, this my man. I've been knowing this man for about twenty some years. You know, my friend came to support his friend. You know, and I appreciate that. I I appreciate every supporter that I've ever had. To me, I am so thankful to be able to be in this place. By another. <laughs> the things that that you can you can honestly say that you're happy and thankful for right now. Right now, um, man, my son, man, my family, um, friends, everybody I got around me is elevating, pushing, driving themselves to do better. And man, you know, when you got that around you, man, you kind of you know you forced to do the same thing, man. And yeah. um, even if I wasn't. Elevating at the, you know, speed they were elevating at, you yeah. know, it, that type of stuff picked me up. Like, you know, I see you just about every day we work together. So, yeah, you know, yeah. I, you motivate me every day, man. You don't know it. I, I just see you, how you act, how you conduct yourself. I'll be like, okay, that's my guy right there. He's still, <laughs> he's still the same guy, Yeah. you know, from way back when, you know. He, you know, might have cleaned a few things up, but, yeah. you know, that's how we got the, that's how you got the role. Like, that's that's you know? how you got the role. So, and the name of the game is support. And pulling each other up. I got one for you, man. What's I up? What what? What's up? So you know, you asked me, you know, through college, you know, yeah. How did I, you know, uh, want to continue to be your friend? You know, well, yeah. This ain't about me, but you know, I went through some things. Yeah. You know, had my things. So, right, right. You know, what made you want to continue to be my friend? You know, going <laughs> through what I went through, you know. Um, honestly, it was the love um I, I truly love you like a brother and and i understood that you were put in a situation that you don't even know how you would react yeah. to something until it happened right. you know um i i just truly want i just wanted to stay your friend i said i, I told myself i said i'm not gonna let this issue or this situation remove my friendship like I it was never a, I don't want to be around him because of what happened right. it was because if I did that I would be a hypocrite and 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 when I say that I mean you know you always say man I'm always gonna be there for you I'm always gonna love you I'm always gonna be your friend well that's good when they, when, they, when the friendship is going well yeah, right. you know when, when both parties look Doing honorable you know what I mean yeah. but in your inhonorable moments that is when a, a friendship is tested yeah and man i just i didn't want it to i didn't want to be the one that kicked you to the curb because you had a lot of people kick you to the curb i saw you grow up yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying I, I knew i knew your you i knew your heart yeah. so that that's what really kept me connected because i i know jeremy you know what i mean I'm gonna ask you questions because that's me. Yeah, you know, yeah, why, yeah, why, yeah. why this, why that? You know, and you gave me an honest answer. That's what made me want to stay your friend and be your friend. I just, I chose to love you. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it, man. That's 100, man. That's 100. <laughs> I chose to love you. <laughs> when you choose to love people, this will happen. Can't do nothing but get real from it. That's it. Honesty, transparency. Hey, it's been amazing. That's my guy. <laughs> That's what you get, man. That's what you get. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. I'll holler back. Much love.